Hey guys, Reckless Owners here, back in our video. So in this video, we're gonna discuss the E-Man Mac bass. Like he uses the tracks as said. And Roses. So it's basically the most used bass sound in 2020. So we can either drag in this Vengeance sample. No, God, please, no! But then the video will be only two minutes long, so... We're not gonna do that. We're gonna discuss the fundamentals and techniques of the sound design of the bass sound in Serum. So let's straight dive into it. So while making it, I really want a thick low end with a lot of harmonics. So the bass technique behind it is to add really gritty wave tables, distort it a lot, and then filter it. So let's make it from scratch. So let's start with in a preset sounding like this. We use the set MIDI, so first we're gonna Use the gritty wave table, it's just over here, to up the sound. Wave table is just around here. Then we'll be adding the second wave table for some FM modulation. So we're gonna use this wave table, it's a sine wave with FM modulation. Wave table around here, and then select FM from B. For him, if I start to be, it's gonna be down because we're only used for FM modulation. Giving this effect. Needs to be two octaves down though. So basically, adds more readiness to the sound. FM just around here. Now I'm gonna filter it with a low 12. And the cut off around here. Drive around halfway. And then we're gonna write Enflow 1 to it. So the Enflow is gonna be a really short one. Because it's a really short bass. Just a little bit of sustain, around 38. The, gain, the decay is gonna be really short as well, around 300. As you can hear, this will already get us close to the shape of the sound. And then the final oscillator is gonna be the noise oscillator. Just adds more punch to the sound. We're gonna use a guitar smack. Sounding like this. So basically it's adding more punch to the sound. Just really subtle. But with a distortion it will make a difference. So turn on a A back on. And we're gonna run inflow straight to the chorus pitch. So what this will do is add some more punch to it as well. Just, I guess. And that's it for us later, so now let's hop onto the effects. So, by the way, this preset and six tomorrow presets are coming from the new pack Lit Sounds Firm 2. So, if you want to make Slap House, Brazilian Bass, this is a pack you need. So, you can check it out in the link down below. Besides that, you can download the project file and my Patreon. It's all linked down below. So, now let's continue with the sounds. So now we're gonna really mess it up with the distortion and the OTT. Just got a really thick low end. Now we're gonna shape it afterwards with the filter, so... We're gonna go for the diode too. Mix all the way up to right around 70%. So then the OTT compression. With a gain around here. So this really sounds awful, but... It's gonna sound really cool when we're gonna filter it, so we're gonna use the low 18. As you can hear, this already, we're already getting that kind of thick low end, what do we want? So now let's add the high end back in with a fill, with an envelope to the cutoff. So just one here, then we're gonna add some more drive to it. Just like this. Then we're gonna EQ it, because the low end is a bit overwhelming right now, so... We're gonna run the F1 to the game. Just to dip it around. Just to dip it a few death. Just to dip it a few decibels. Just like this, so that's it for the... So that's it for the sound design. So, now we're gonna listen to the final results. So it will sound like this. 
And that's it for the Imanbag style base. So if you like the video, please leave a like and see more and the subscribe button. And I'll see y'all in the next videos.